Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing something different. I'm going to be doing a get ready with me. Tonight I'm going to Wicked the Musical on Broadway with my best friend Esther. So I thought I would get all glammed up and pretty and wear some false lashes since I have it in a hot minute. Um, so if you want to continue uh, seeing how I got this look, then just keep on watching. Okay guys, so the first thing I'm doing is going in with my Makeup Forever Step 1 Equalizer. Um, this is in the Smoothing Primer, just placing that all over my face. I am already um, moisturized and such. Going in with my Makeup Forever HD Foundation Stick. This is in the lightest color I believe you can get. And I'm just buffing that in in circular motions with a flat top kabuki brush. This is from Morphe. Um, I will put it in the bottom bar below what it's called. I am blanking at the moment. Um, and then going in with my Urban Decay Naked Weightless Concealer. I'm just placing that all over my face pretty much in an obnoxious amount. And putting it on my lids as well. I use that as like kind of a prep primer. Buffing that in with a super damp beauty blender. Um, just trying to make it as creaseless as possible. I make a lot of facial express expressions so I get pretty creasy anyway. Going in with my Shade and Light palette. I'm going in with the fairest color, not the banana, but the one on the top left hand corner and just setting my under eyes with the same damp beauty blender. I've noticed this makes my under eyes look a lot less cakey and it helps things look way more hydrated and more youthful. Going in with my MAC, I think this is a finishing powder or like a powder foundation and just pressing that into the skin with the same damp beauty blender. I've kind of been using this technique as just using the beauty blender for legit everything on my face. If I could use it to just smooth over my brows, I would totally do the same thing. Okay, and then we're gonna go in and contour a little bit, and this is the Too Faced Chocolate. Um, and this is in medium deep, it was the sample I got, so, but I just recently ordered light to medium because this one's a little too dark for me because this ghost has no pigment whatsoever. Going in with Flower Child by Becca, this is just such a beautiful blush. And I am putting that on with the clean side of my beauty blender, the bottom. I think this just makes it look like you're just like blushing from within. Going in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills That Glow Palette, I'm using the bottom two colors. One's called Pearl, I believe, and I don't remember the other one, but I just mixed the two. And I'm using my Damp Beauty Blender as well. This helps it not look powdery on top. And then going in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in the color Taupe, I'm just going to fill in my brows. I've been doing something a little bit different lately. Um, I haven't been filling them in as full. I've just kind of been making it a little bit more natural. It still takes me forever, but you know, you know. Just filling in, filling in. I feel like the new trend this year is gonna be just natural black brows instead of on fleek brows. And then going in with my, um, I think this is Benefit Give Me Brow. This is in their light color. Um, I like it because it just makes it look like I have more fibers in my hair. And it doesn't look like I just filled in my entire brow with uh, pencil. And then going in with my MAC Paint Pot and Painterly. Um, I'm just placing that all over my lid. This is kind of what I do for like my second prep for my eyeshadow. Because I have the oiliest, oiliest, yeah, that's a word. Oiliest lids. That does not sound like a word. Nope. Not anymore. But oiliest, oil, mm. done. 
And then going in with my Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette, I'm just taking one of the big, oh God, and it smells so good. It's delicious, I wanna eat it. But just going in with my, um, just a little rounded eyeshadow brush, I'm just gonna place that vanilla shade all over the lid. Just because the paint really is a little bit tacky. So I like to make a smooth face. And then going in with a Sigma Big Fluffy brush, I'm just taking uh, one of the transition colors in there. I'll list everything down below. And I'm just buffing that in my crease. And then going in with another Sigma brush, this is a little more tapered, so you can get further down. And I'm just taking a little darker, um, warm chocolate color, and I'm placing that all over, like in the second crease, let's call that. That sounds good. Then going in with a Morphe pencil brush, but I like to call this one. I'm just taking that deep chocolate color from the palette and placing that on the outer corner of my eye and also under my eye. Kind of making a, like a less than greater than symbol, I guess you could say. And just placing that there and then buffing it out again with the same um, Sigma brush, the same tape. wiping away the fallout because it was horrendous. And then I'm going in with my Makeup Geek shadows. I'm using two pretty little uh, foiled shadows. One's kind of like a champagne color and the other one's kind of like a mauve light purple. And I just wanted a little bit more sheen to the eyes so I just placed that on my lid itself. Shaking my camera everywhere, Jesus said. I'm just blending out those harsh edges a little bit. Sorry, I'm texting. Oh, no, Beyonce. Beyonce's everything. And then I'm just highlighting with that same vanilla color that I put down all over my lid. I'm just putting that underneath my brow bone and in the inner corner. I didn't want something too sparkly or too sheeny because um, I did put the foiled eyeshadow on my lid. And then going in with my all-time favorite Kat Von D Trooper liner, I'm just gonna give myself, you know, the classic dramatic wing. This one's drying out so hard though. It's a good thing I ordered another one. If you guys want to see an in-depth tutorial on how I do my winged liner, just let me know. I feel like everyone has a tutorial on that, but like I feel like I do mine just like a ton different. And then going in with Best Damn Beauty, this is something Nicole Guerrero made. It's her lip mask. I think it just makes your lips feel like amazing if you put on like a matte lipstick or anything. Going in with Too Faced Better Than Sex uh, mascara. Wow, I feel like everything in this video is from Too Faced. It's just such a good brand. I wish there were wands, not like 
chocolate. That would be, oh, that'd be everything. And I am going in with Rimmel uh, Lash Accelerator. I put that on my bottom lashes, mostly because I feel like the Too Faced always like leaves like a raccoony thing on the bottom of my lashes, just because they're so, so long that like it never fully dries, I feel like. Going in with New Bunsome Lashes, or New Bouncem, I don't know how you pronounce that. Um, and I'm just using regular duo lash adhesive to put those on. Um, it was so watery, I don't know why. Probably because I haven't worn lashes in so long. My glue was like freaking out. So it took me a minute to put those on. And while those somewhat dry, I just like to line my lips and I'm using MAC Whirl Lip Pencil. Um, yeah. Just roughly outlining where I want my lipstick to go and dancing. Dance break, you know it. And then putting my lashes on. So much fun. And my camera died. So um, then I just put on MAC Whirl lip lipstick. And then I'm just filling in the gaps of where my eyelashes and my lash line didn't meet with some more eyeliner. This look is actually complete, and you're just going to spritz your face if you want to set your makeup. I like to do because I'm an oil slick, um, and I'm using the um, All Night Chill Makeup Setting Spray by Urban Decay. All right, thanks guys. Thank you for watching.